2019 spends its time with Nigeria witnessing the awakening of the African giant. Oh no no no, not that giant of a system governing almost 200 million people, but a small support group who rose an African music giant to the global music scene. The other African giant is still very much in deep slumber. Her leaders of tomorrow still growing old in yesterday. Burdened by economic hardship, they find solace in the most engaging and fulfilling activity of the year, campaigning and voting for the next big reality TV star. The abducted missing girls became as unpopular as the five girls from Regina Spice's secondary school in Onisha who whooped the ass of the American, Asian, and European competition to develop an app that could fight fake drugs in Nigeria. Their crime for not being so popular and mainstream, the inability to slay. 2019 filtered in the news that our brothers were being attacked in the south of the continent. Our response? attack the businesses of our own at home oh this very same violent and destructive power of youthful energy was abundantly for sale when the time came to pick a president a bag of rice and the equivalent of 10 american dollars for another four years of stagnation seemed a fair exchange to the ignorant and downtrodden. Many who knew better turned to God with the widow's might, building more schools for the children of the rich and offering the pastoral community a better life. While movie makers had a good year using actors to pull millions to the cinema, the men of God employed the same means, paying actors and curing diseases, pulling millions to the church. 2019 was indeed a historic year, but no worries at all about the tools to pen down these many events, for alas, the year brought Nigeria to the age of producing pencils to write all of these down for the records. Speaking of records, 2019 had Nigerian records played across the globe with a handful of the same faces hitting superstar music stardom. A great compensation that was for the talented thousands of music acts at home who were begging the system for a fairer price for exposure that didn't demand for heavy brown envelopes. The loudest movie awards the biggest telecoms company, the biggest cable TV company, the biggest franchise of chain of stores, all declared by 2019 to be of non-Nigerian descent. But what was ours was ours, and so we proudly approached the Oscars with our nomination for the year 2019, until they told us that while we could beat our chest about ownership of all the other elements that made this picture beautiful, the language was not ours. So out the party we go. Hey, but who cares? We have more nightclubs than ever before. With the boys of the hour, more missing panties, more benzos on the road, it's party after party after party after party. In all of this, though, there was the need for gratitude in the year 2019, as the much-feared civil unrest never came. The appetite for animals to eat flesh over paper currency seems to be restored, and the laughter merchants from Instagram left a lot of ribs cracked. With dancing and singing senators in the mix, philanthropy too was at an all-time high with several job openings for cameramen who were paid to capture the moments of extended mercy to the needy 
Oh Dear 2019 was also the year of herbal sexual stimulation awareness. Dear 2020, give us something better to chase, for it seems like clout was captured by too many chasers in 2019. Throw some substance into the goals this year, please. Change our jungle story. We do not wish to live in bondage anymore. Break us free. Officer Jato needs more help with our security. The boys from Ikorodu would love a lucky apartment as flatmates. Send our kids back to school. Let the resources go around that we may all be merry men and women in a chop life gang of more than three. <laughs>